You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I was I always felt like I was in the middle with it. And but I still I gotta stand on what I stand on. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't make y'all make me pick no side for nobody. Yeah. Y'all can't make me pick no side. Nigga, I don't nigga, I've been running my shit since I was a kid. I ain't never fallen no nigga. You know what I'm saying? So y'all nobody can make me pick a side because Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah. This how private we are. You know what I'm saying? We don't put our problems on other people. You know what I'm saying? We deal with our emotions, which is not always a good thing. Dang, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because you have to talk to people. So, you know what I'm saying? At, 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 the, at, the end of, at the end of the day, this is what I have to do more. That's, this, I agree with that this. 100%. And if I do this more, I feel like everything else will... It's gonna start spiring and coming you see what up. I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. and that's so true. Because the more people go and look for you, they're gonna listen to Come your on, music. Man. They're Come gonna on, go man. find all yeah. your music. Yeah. But if you're not reconnecting with them, how do you expect them to go people, and find people, your music? People, people, people buy you. They buy into you. They don't buy into your music no more. That's right. They buy into you. They don't stand in long lines at your concert because your music good. They love you as a person. They like you. They like I like what that nigga stand on. That's mm. real. That's how they. That's how they rock with you. That's I know real. that. He, yeah. But you know, yeah, well, you he know it before pride, everybody. You know what I'm saying? He, he, knew it he knew it before everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, but that's the blessing of social media because before social media, you only buying the artists because yeah. that's all you knew was the music and yeah, stuff like real. that. Mm -hmm. You didn't know. And even when people used to go and advertise their new album or whatever at the radio station, you got to think about it. Radio station only acts certain things because mm -hmm. it only have this small amount of time to, to do it to do uh -huh. it in. But that's why I love podcasts. Po podcasting we can get really in depth yeah. especially when we're individually owned like we are we mm -hmm. can ask you whatever, whatever. we want uh -huh. you know what yeah. I mean and you can really get your message out the yeah. way it's supposed to be how did you land up Lincoln with Puga Leroy anyway say man so man Puga been rocking for a minute okay and uh, we did we did crazy about the same time when I came here man Puka actually did a song together really and so Puka got on a the song then he was like bro we the Jay Z and Nas of the city and so that's what he said at the beginning of the you song you know you met me before Puka I, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. So, so, and I'm saying like right after that, we done like pr probably done the song then. Wow. So we never, you know what I'm saying? We never just, you know, just, it was just a mutual respect. respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, bro. Cause I saw him do his thing. Like literally, and I never hated just look like, okay, bro. Like that's what's up. And so I had a time where I took off real hard and he always showed love, bro. Yeah, like he never had a hating bone, never had a slot comment, never had a, you know what I'm saying? He's sure. too cool to have a slot. And that's what I'm saying, bro. And, cool and, 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 I, and, I, and I always yeah. appreciate, I always appreciate that, even when he done the cipher. You know what I'm saying? He, I'm the first. Was he cool? I'm the first person he caught. But, but he was cool though. every single time. But he had them loud ass colors on, didn't he? Say he gonna do he that. He was banging them colors <laughs> on say, your say, ass. Say, say. <laughs> but but I think I think what I'm learning about him too, like don't don't take, don't take his kinds for weakness. Oh no no, the nigga gonna get it off his chest. Oh yeah, one thing I can tell <laughs> you, know you about. I told Puka a long out, time ago. We man, got that's real. why he gonna be on here. But I yeah. always tell him, man, I don't even want to hear no rap. You yeah. dope, y'all niggas yeah. dope. Don't bring yeah. me no rap. I don't want to care about no rap. No nigga, I want to see something else. That's that that's that avenue back to the music you were talking about. Because it takes a lot, bro. And I knew it was coming. I seen. It coming. Mm -hmm. I knew already the way digital, the digital world moves fast, bro. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, Puka and you and all of y'all, it's a, it's a, it, you guys are y'all got a cult following. Mm -hmm. There's people wanting to see things from y'all, and you gotta deliver. You gotta. That's deliver. all it yeah. is, Cause bro. You letting them down. Yeah, you, come on you know now. That's all, saying, that's, that's, that's all I be saying, man. That's all I be saying. What? Okay, and, and we got to get on this too because I met you in Prophecy together. When I right. talked to Prophecy, right. he said y'all haven't been doing nothing together no more. Yeah. Yeah. What happened with y'all? I just feel like, man, like, and and I, I, I really want to, I really want to come over here and speak my opinion. You know what I'm saying, yeah. speak my facts. You know what I'm saying. I just felt like, I feel like, I feel this is just my opinion again. I just felt like prophecy. He kind of treated me like he got too big. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, like as far as us working, because prophecy was shooting a lot of my old stuff, and you know what I'm saying. And I don't know if he started working with other people. He felt like you know how it go. Like you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Ain't no damn I say, nigga. That's what happened. You talking about? You say, nigga. No, so, it happened. You so, know. So you know what I'm saying? I just, I just always had kind of had that. You know what I'm saying? But we never had no bad blood or nothing. It's just kind of a, a transition that we just kind of just stop working you know what I'm saying we just stop working and well I think I, I, and I think that was kind of what he had said as well off off camera yeah. but definitely no bad word no bad blood yeah. just basically you know and then with him working with a Mo3 a lot right, and all right, that right, stuff right, the right. beef and stuff right. that was going on you know it's a lot of stuff that I was thinking about like yeah. 
you you had dealings with Yella as well. Yella I, I, and I, I had I had I actually had dealings with both of those. You were dealing with both of with them. Both of them. So I was really in the middle because see, me and Yella was cool way before the music. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me and Yella was cool way before the music. Okay. And so me and Mo Three had a mutual little partner that that grew up under me, grew up under my little brother them. Okay. Bubba, he got killed on Dixon. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But how did he die? I guess behind all this. How who knows? Who we knows? don't know. It was just really a hit that they came, shot him up, nobody don't know. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So we had a mutual that that Bubba used to always try to link me and Mo Three up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And me, I'm just and again, I just come here to tell my truth. I didn't always agree with how Mo Three moved. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I always kind of bagged up from him. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I don't really you know what I'm that saying? You know how him and Ryan rock. It's all controversy. You oh, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You know they gonna do their thing, and that's and I and I love it, bro. Yeah, but it's, but it's not me though. You know what I'm saying? So I always kind of just you know like nah, I don't, you know you know what I'm saying? But me and Yella I always been cool, talked about. Like I was one of the first pr people to hear that's on me. Really? He pulled up at my house and played it for me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, bro, that might can be big. We talked about it. You know what I'm saying? It is, and it's 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 few things with him that I don't agree with. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? But me and Mo, yeah, but me and Mo three, we just never we had conversations, had talks. You know what I'm saying? Bob, I always try to get we me and Mo got a song together. You okay. know, different stuff. But um, what song was that? Um, this um um damn I, um the plug. Did y'all do a video to it? We didn't do a video. Y'all just did the yeah, song. Yeah, we did the song and um. And so, man, you know, it was just a lot of conflict. Like, me and Mo3 had our, nobody know, we had our little private battles with each other, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. He'll say something like on the record, like, yeah, nigga, I come back, say my, you know, we always through a little comp friendly competition. Yeah. But it never was that relationship, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. We had a few words, like, Bubba called me, FaceTime me, like, say, hey, nigga, you and nigga, you come on, y'all need to come on. Yeah. Y'all need to work. Yeah. And me and Mo, we be on, like, all right, we here. Never. You know what I'm saying? Never did so, do it. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I was I always felt like I was in the middle with it. And but I stood, I gotta stand on what I stand on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't make y'all make me pick no side for nobody. Yeah. Y'all can't make me pick no side. Nigga, I don't nigga, I've been running my shit since I was a kid. I ain't never followed no nigga. You know what I'm saying? So y'all nobody can make me pick a side because you know you got people talking about Roy Lee, Roy, this, this, this. That's another thing I was gonna ask you about because you know I seen one of your comments. That said that uh, Roy Lee, you never even showed yeah, show yeah. love to Roy Lee, or either said me and, like, Lee, me and Roy Lee grew up together. I know that, but you it's just certain and, people and, say and stuff. And before Roy Lee passed away, bro, it was it was a major disconnect with us. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.